Stormward and Associates is a production of the Nerd and Tie Podcast Network. For more podcasts from actual play to true crime to witchcraft, go to nerdandtie.com or join our community on Discord by finding an invite at nerdandtie.com slash discord. Hey guys, it's Trey, and you may be asking yourself, hey, where's my regular episode of Stormwood and Associates? And unfortunately, it's a little delayed. Uh, due to a scheduling conflict, uh, Becca was unavailable to record for a while. And normally, when things like this happened, uh, we just sort of work around the player. We've, we've had to do this before, but because Becca was GMing the current story we were in the middle of releasing, uh... That wasn't uh, a, a thing we could do. So what we are going to present to you over the next several weeks is a side story set in the Stormwood and Associates multiverse with some other characters that you get to meet and learn about. And we think it's gonna, I think it's going to be really fun. And uh, so just relax and enjoy this kind of uh, appendix, uh, side story, uh, random insert into your Stormwood world, and eventually we will get back to the main thrust of Campaign 2 one way or another. Webster and Camille Hyacinth are just average freshmen at Clearwater University in Odapon Tour, Wisconsin. And they're, they're just having a great day. Except maybe something's gonna go a little weird. Welcome to school days. School Day stars Celeste Star Twin as Camille Hyacinth, Gen Proc as Finley Webster, with Trey Jorn as your GM. Listeners, we take you to a new place and a new adventure with new people you've never seen or met before. In a world you've never touched upon before, in a place you've maybe probably unfamiliar, I don't know what you do in your daily life, but we go to a city in northwestern Wisconsin, the city of Odapon Tour, Wisconsin, in a universe similar to the universe that uh, our, our Stormwood characters would be familiar with. So the same realms of magic exists, but requires a federal license. The world is populated by the six races. It's all the normal stuff you expect. Everyone debates whether or not gnomes are a real thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we go into this world upon a bright, bright August morning in... Uh, on the campus of Clearwater University in Odapon Tour, Wisconsin, as a group of college freshmen, bright-eyed and bushy tails, are being led around on a campus tour of the university. The group is large, diverse, probably about 20 to 30 students, but two students in particular stick out to us, the audience. Uh, Celeste, tell me about your character and what they are doing at this moment on this tour. All right. So this one of the uh, students is Camille Hyacinth, who is a, <clears throat> who is a uh, student who with a very deep fascination with uh, the classics and what some might call mythology, but who her elf elf family would refer to as history um, she's especially fascinated in um, Celtic and uh, European stories, especially about um, the elves that invaded uh, the Ulster region of Ireland. So kind of uh, kind of her um, wanting to find more about her family history, that sort of thing. For sure it was just elves that did that? 
um, based on the knowledge that she has, but it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, remember in our history of the world, only about like 20 to like the, the percentage of the population that actually is non-human is still probably like 30%. So it's a, it's one of those things that, uh, it's one of the reasons why it's actually just uh, called mythology okay. by a lot of people as opposed to proper history. Okay. 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 Then who is, who, um, okay. Sorry. She has long brown hair. Long brown hair. Mention that. So an elf with long brown hair. How is she dressed on this bright August morning? Um, think, um, very, uh, not doing anything to like uh, break the uh, schoolgirl um, stereotype. Um, sweater vest, uh, short um, short sleeved uh, collared shirt, uh, small tie. She's wearing uh, a sweater pen- vest. Yep. In August. Yep. There's no time that's inappropriate to look professional. It's like eighty degrees out. <laughs> There's no time okay. that's inappropriate <laughs> to look professional. Okay. Uh, then, then who is our okay. other student? I don't know why I'm like weirdly nervous to introduce a new character. <laughs> I've done this before. Why am I nervous? Oh, breathe, Genjamin. Breathe. Okay. So, well, that's right. I barely prepared him. Okay. <laughs> so... Finley Webster um, is a lanky human boy um, with red, a mop of of bright red hair, and um, he is um, jeans and a t-shirt. He he doesn't know what he's going to do with himself. Like he hasn't like picked a major yet or thought about it like at all. So he's just kind of like soaking in as much as he can. He's glad to be there, but okay. He doesn't know. Like he doesn't have much going on. I don't know. <laughs> okay. You are all right now walking through the center of the campus quad. Um, the buildings around you are some a lot of red brick. Um, the, the administrative building is red brick and covered in ivy. There's a student center that is, that is large. There's a large open green with a, a clock in the center, like an old iron clock. And uh, the, the, the campus sits along a river, sits along a river. Your tour guide is a uh, young, bubbly college sophomore uh, who is a, a young woman with blonde hair in a in a bright yellow T-shirt that the you know is the campus greeting committee, and she walks with a clipboard and with bright, excited eyes. And this is, of course, where the student center is. Okay, so you guys are you guys are gonna love this place. It is so great. It has like. Everything they just got a Taco Bell. Oh my God! I cannot believe like you have no idea how like how much last year we wanted to have this Taco Bell here and like oh my God we had to fight to get it. But like the 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 contractor changed for like our student food and like the new contractor is just is so great. Okay, yes, you you have a question. Uh, uh, why why are we talking about the Taco Bell this much? She stares at him. She stares at that student for a long time. Anyways, yes, do we have any other questions? Good. All right, so now we're going to go over here, and she, she begins to lead you further through the campus. Um, the campus is, it's, it's beautiful. The, the lawns are manicured. It is uh, a mix of different architectures, ranging from early 20th century to... 2010s, depending on the building. It is a large, this is a, a university that has been put together over the decades. Um, 
Eventually, you are led through a number of campus buildings. You're shown where the science building is. You're shown where the, you know, the humanities building is. You're shown where the arts building is and all of this. It's, it's just a lot of information <laughs> said at a high pitched and a fast speed. And I don't know how much any of it necessarily logs in your brains because it's just, it's a lot of stuff. Both of you roll me a d10. Three. Six. All right. You keep going through the campus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, eventually, the, eventually the tour is, is, is completed and you are, you are, you are, it ends outside again, um, somewhere on the quad Outside of after you've been let through all these buildings, you return to the student center, and uh, you know it's the your your young tour guide looks and he goes, oh, and of course I cannot I cannot forget that if any of you any of you are at all curious about Greek life on campus, any of you are interested in pledging to either the like one of the fraternities, one of the sororities, or any of that here, you should you should totally talk to me. Pledge week is starting soon and and i can i can i can really help you out also there is there will be a party at alpha house tonight if you're interested and and a lot of people will be really excited to see you okay and yeah and if anyone has any questions i'll be right here but you guys have a great day She seems nice. Yeah. Mm. Um. Do, do you do you know what we do now? I haven't the slightest. Jeez. Oh. Uh. My, hey. Uh. My name's Finley, by the way. Camille. Charmed. Nice to meet you. So what brings you to Ode Pointier? Finley, was it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, I I tried to get into um, the U of M, but it didn't work out. So I, I luckily I got accepted here. So that's great. How about mm. you? Just hoping to get started on a project. Yeah, an important okay, project. project. Oh my God, why am I sharing this? Well, if you noticed the pointy ears, yeah. Well, a lot of people say there's no way that it could have happened, but I need to get I need to get started on becoming a proper historian so I can demonstrate that the elves, my people, were a big part of history long before people give them credit for, and that we invaded Ireland and my ancestors personally fought Ku Cullen, who's definitely a real person and not just a imaginary person that the Irish came up with. It's a thing. Oh. oh you're going for history. That's cool. I, I haven't picked out my major yet, but I'm going to try some things and see what I like. I admire your happiness at being so blind. As you guys are talking, uh, Mindy actually approaches you two, the the tour guide. Oh my god! Okay, so like, oh my god. So so um, hi. She walks up to you, Camille. Hi. So oh my god, I love that sweater vest. Thanks. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god. So okay, like you should, and I know, like, I know I'm just saying this, and like it's it's really random. But have you considered like like pledging like so so I'm I'm a member of Theta Delta Beta Alpha and like we are you 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 just oh my god I love your look and I think like you would you would be like so great you should you should totally come to the Alpha House party tonight 
100%. So I'm going to give you this, and she pulls out, she pulls out a flyer. She hands it to you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You should come out. It would be so much fun. You, you're you going to have a great time. And I, I love... I, God, you what? know nothing about me. Oh, my God. That's... That's why I'm inviting you. I want to get, we want to get to know you. Oh my God. God, your hair is so cute. Where did you get that done? Oh my God. So look, it's, you should, you should come. Obviously, I'm not trying to like push into anything you don't want to do, whatever. Like you do you, you have fun. But like, this is just, it's totally a thing you could do here. And like, I don't know, who's your friend here? Hi, uh, it's, I'm I'm Mindy. I was the the, the tour guide. Yeah, you should, yeah. you should totally come to Finley. Like, then yeah. we have a, the, the Greek life here. It's just, it's phenomenal. Like you, you might okay. really like the alphas. Like, yeah, but, but, oh my God, you should, but, 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 but what's your name again? Um. She's she's looking at you, Camille. 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 Oh my god, I it's love Camille. that name. That is so pretty. Oh my god, I wish my name was that pretty. Oh, I'm stuck with Mindy. It's just, oh, I have a trash name. Your name is gorgeous. I love it. You should 100 percent be there. All right, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go. You okay? So so Alpha House is just it's just over it's over on Greenbush. All right, so it's like. Totally, totally come. Oh my God, you will love it. You are, oh, my God. I love, I, my God, the sweater vests are in this year. I don't know if you know. So, like, you are like setting forward, trending. Oh my God. All right. So, I got to go. Oh my God. I just, I love your whole thing. All right. She walks off. So, you're going to oh. go? <laughs> I would rather die. Uh, well, I think I might check it out. It sounds pretty cool. You have fun. I've just listened to Mindy praise and call upon her God, whoever that may be, way too many times for a less than five minute period. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, have a nice day. <laughs> and Finley wanders off. <laughs> He's going to go check out the Taco Bell. <laughs> There's 100% a Taco Bell in the student center. Yes. Um, I don't know, Camille. What are you doing besides ignoring the call to adventure? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just not. It is. It's not the character that I created to care to want to go to that sort of event. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, You're just making my life harder, but that's fine. Things can find you. I can make things happen. Can I Can make we all Finley try really pick? hot? Hmm? You can make Finley really hot. How hot do you want Finley to be? Uh, let me roll for it. All right. Five. Finley's decently hot. He's, uh, he's decent. He's an Odapon Tour 8. Yeesh. Hey. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> all right. So, um... so all right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so Finley's heading to the student center. What is is Camille going to go to the student center with Finley or do what? Camille's going to wander over to the library because Okay. That seems interesting. Is Camille going to have exchanged numbers with Finley here? <laughs> or any kind of like or Facebook friend? What do, I don't know what kids use. Social bunny friended? I don't know. That's from The Sims. <laughs> um, well, wandering over there... Uh... I don't think they exchanged anything. No, they didn't. I need to... <laughs> They exchange names. They exchange yeah, names. Yeah, they exchange names. I need you guys to put a little bit of help here. Like, at least connect your characters together. The, uh... Well, wandering over, um... 
Oh, wandering over, Camille takes out her phone and starts looking for uh, Finley's uh, account in a uh, on the social media page so that she can prove to uh, her parents that she did actually try to make friends this time. Okay. <laughs> Roll me a d10. Camille. Roll me a d10, Camille. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Five. Okay. As you're walking towards the library, you see Mindy standing outside of the library. Uh, talking with, like, uh, she's talking with some people. Like, she stopped to talk to someone. She's not, like, there waiting for you. But there's a uh, Mindy and uh, a couple of, uh, uh, of, of other young women are standing there excitedly talking to each other. Directly in front of the library door. There's no getting around them. Great. Great. I can handle this. You you do know that the your new friend Finley just headed towards the student center. I... <sighs> My ancestors fought Ku Cullen. But I'm not fighting any Irish knights today, so I guess I'm going the other way. All right. So Camille redirects herself. <laughs> you end up... Okay, so <laughs> Finley, about five seconds as you enter the student center, I'm assuming you're looking at the map of the building trying to find the, where the Taco Bell is. Yeah. Uh, Camille walks in behind you. Because, <laughs> by God, you guys are, at the very least, like, I'm willing to let you ignore hooks, It's but you got to stay together. <laughs> <laughs> You both live in the same dorm building. All right. I'm just giving you that background. That's fine. All right. Um, yeah. So, Finley, you're looking at... Th so, the Student Center, it's a it's a large... It's a lot of red brick on this campus. It's a large red brick building. It's a couple stories. Uh, it's two stories. You are currently in a lobby that is, it's a, it's a large open area with red tile floors. There's a couple of elevators to one side that lead up to the second floor and a large staircase that kind of goes along that wall to also go upstairs. Um, down uh, the, the most apparent hallway that's in front of you is uh, there's like some like rooms that can be reserved down the one hallway. And then um, the other hallway direction is you're looking at the map of the building like, if you go past the elevators, like, in other words, that's where, like, the, the food court and, like, that stuff is. Is this based off of a real campus? No, it's based off of a fictional campus that appeared at Unconventional for fucking ten years. <laughs> okay, so he... Yeah. Um, I think he's going to head towards the food court, assuming that's where all the food is. Yeah. And possibly the Taco Bell? Yeah. I don't think he even notices. Yeah. Um, so, Camille, you see you see Finley looking at this map and then heading off in a direction. Are you hi, to... Finley, was it? Are, are you, like, walking next to him? Uh, comes up behind, behind him. Cause like he, mo he's going. <laughs> I hey hey slow, Finley. Hello. Oh yeah, what up? Oh oh hey hey hi. Camille. Um hi. What's up? I definitely didn't get uh, overwhelmed and decide not to go to the library. What were you doing? Oh, I was gonna check out Taco Bell. Awesome. Why don't I join you? I haven't eaten anything, and some combination of beans, cheese, and whatever is probably what I need right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Come on. She follows. Okay. Both of you roll Barely, me a, both of you roll she's me, not fast. Both of you roll me a D10. Nine. Five. 
Finley, you notice there's kind of a suspicious looking figure, um, like just kind of like, I know it's a college campus and that a lot of people are like moving around, but most of the people you see, like you see, like, you know, it's, it's the beginning right before the semester starts. So like the, you, there are some like you know, college students, some obvious parents, you know, maybe, you know, you know, people who work on the university walking around, but there is this, a f this it's uh, about the height of either, like, um, a goblin or a tall halfling or, you know, a, yeah, but, but too thin to be, like, a dwarf. But someone around that size um, in a hoodie covering their face with their hands in their pockets. And they are, like, covered head to toe in a way that is especially suspicious considering how warm it is outside. Like, it is, you know, Camille's poor fashion choices aside it is incredibly strange for someone to be dressed that warmly in like the kind of weather that it is right now and he's just sort of like standing in the he's looks like he looks like he's trying to be inconspicuous but maybe not doing a great job Finley will just like on a Put nine, I'll himself. also point out that his shoes don't match. Mm, Finley's going to put himself between uh, Camille and the figure. He's, he's pretty far away. So, like, he's like... Okay. Like, it's just he looks weird. Yeah. Yeah. Finley will just, like, think to himself, like, huh. Okay. <laughs> and like keep going he makes a mental note of it but doesn't act upon it I should say it could also be a short human I, I should not have eliminated that as a possibility mm. you okay you look kind of spacey oh yeah sorry oh there's a dude over there kind of looks like a hobo I've never seen a hobo in real life, so. Where are you even from? Shinaqua. Jeez, that really, that really is the sticks, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice up there. I don't, I don't know. Where are you from? I'm actually from your from the place that you wanted to get into so bad. Oh. <laughs> That's yep. right. You're from a university? <laughs> I'm from Milwaukee, thank you. Oh, they said U of M. That would be University of Minneska. See, that's what we needed was the fake place names because we can't <laughs> remember the freaking map. There's, a, there's a map on the website. If you click campaign one information on the website, the map piles up with all the names. That's a lot to ask. But I put to, you in Wisconsin, do. where most of the names are the same. There's just a couple extra cities. Like Shinaqua. Yeah, that's fine. But, 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 chaotically, I'm just dialing back the world, because Finley said U of M, which you would know means University of Minnesota, which is oh, our equivalent okay. of Minnesota. Not UWM, okay. which is different. Milwaukee does I exist, though. Might have misunderstood what you said. Oh no, no worries. It's okay. Te technically, what corrected you was a voice in your head. Finley has no idea that someone corrected you. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, guys, are getting Taco Bell. E. You approach the Taco Bell counter. A goblin worker looks at you. Hello, normal Aramisian students. What can I get you from the Bell of Tacos? Why do you do this to me, Trey? <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what up? Yet what of our many varieties of things shoved in other things can we provide? 
Uh, yeah. Can I get the um, Deluxe Cravings box, please? Okay. Um, just a beefy five layer, please. All right. The appropriate price for items is now on screen. Please provide the appropriate currency. I got this. No worries. Uh, okay. Should be told, I don't get the impression he actually knows what the value is. Okay. Kevin, you provide food, yes? Fine. A large orc is preparing your food. How are you this fine day of summer not fall yet? Oh, I'm really good, man. How are you? I am acceptable. I am working at the Taco Bell. Things are going completely to plan. Well, that's good to hear. In really no way. specific of you. In no way was an invading army support pulled out from it when an ambassador died in a parallel reality. Who's supposed to come back and help here? That did not happen. And I am not stuck working at the goddamn Taco Bell. An ambassador? I am from very far away. Do not worry. Here, have your normal human meals, or Aramisian, whatever you are. I don't know. You got the pointy ears, you're an elf. Okay. Okay, thanks very much. And he grabs his box and his drink. Then he goes to, goes to sit down. I grab my burrito and eye him very suspiciously. The longer, kind of... the longer you make eye contact with it, the bigger his smile, and he gives a little wave. Camille catches up with Finley. Did that guy seem kind of racist to you? Or stupid? Eh, I don't know, man. You seem pretty nice to me. Roll me a d10, both of you. A two. Seven. Uh, Camille, you notice something very strange that um, just for some reason, inordinately, uh, most because there's like this is a number of food service places here. Like besides the Taco Bell, there's also like a sub place. There's a, you know, a burger place, like a whole bunch of other places. And they're almost all staffed by orcs. And like that seems that's a little weird only because there's not a huge orcish population in this part of the country. Huh. So a lot of, but you can see like 20 orcs all working right now. Is this like a, huh? Hey, do you think they might be racially profiling the help here? Oh, I, I don't know. I didn't really think about that. He's got his mouth full. There's just an awful lot of orcs, like, disproportionate to the population around here. I don't know. Finley is, like, focused on his food. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating this entire box by himself. Huh. So you're gonna you're gonna go to the thing tonight? I guess I don't have anything better to do. Yeah. I mean the student the club fair doesn't start until tomorrow, so Fine. Like I said, it's not like I have anything better to do. Freaking weirdos here. I don't know. Something about that Mindy's off. Also, this place. I'm starting to think I've made some questionable decisions to get here. Yeah, why'd you choose here? There's, well, the classics program. 
like I said, there's some there's some mythology classes here, but I don't think they're mythology at all. I think they're my family's history. I just need more research so I can prove it. Okay. Sure. Look, it's a whole thing. My There's an old story in my family that before we immigrated that some of our ancestors before they got kicked out of Ireland made a bit of a scene and fought this knight with a this spear wielding Irish knight and that we were that we were kicked out for invading and no one's ever said that this is any amount of true, but it sure sounds like the legends, the Irish Ulster cycle legend. And I think, I think that it might not be a legend, that it might be real. But I need to get some more primary sources, and in the this part of the country, it's the best place I can get a hold of them. And maybe I'll have to steal something from the library. I don't know. We'll find out. You know you can just, like, check things out of the library? They don't usually let you check out the, the rare uh, periodicals, let alone the original manuscripts. I suppose not. I don't know. Both of you roll me a d10. Ten. Oh God! No way. Six. All right, Finley. For a brief second, you think you see that figure in a hoodie again. Um, on a six, Camille. Camille. I'm gonna tell you what you see right now. So this is a fairly crowded space, right? There's a whole bunch of students and, like, their parents. And, like, people are getting meals because it's around, like, noon. And so it's the big lunch rush in this area. And, and you've gotten food. There, there are crowds of people walking in the distance at the far end of this room. Because it's a big room. You, for a moment, think you see someone dressed in almost medieval garb with long red curly hair and holding a spear and for a moment they seem to look at you and then you blink and they are the like the crowd passes through and they are gone what the hey is this like a larping school i i think there's a larp community here that's got to explain it. Someone was... I, I swear I just saw someone in some cosplay or some crap. Huh. Weird flex to use on the first day, but okay. I don't know. People are weirdos. Oh, for sure. Like, I think I swear I saw that hobo guy again. I, I gotta ask, what do you think a hobo looks like? <laughs> He describes the dude. Yeah, it's the short person, probably about, like, between four and five feet tall, um, wearing uh, a thick clothes, like a black hoodie, covering their face entirely, hands in pockets, um, mismatched shoes, just kind of scruffy looking, but without being able to see either their face. Like, you can't even tell the skin color of this person. Not sure if I'd call that a hobo, but yeah, not exactly what I'd call normal either. 
weird. I mean, yeah, I've heard of non-traditional students, but that's pretty non-traditional, you know? This place is starting to skeeve me out. Maybe I'd be safer to just travel with a buddy. That'll work. Okay. Well, good luck then. <laughs> she rubs her temples. <laughs> I... I don't know anyone else here, Finley. Do you want to hang out some more? Uh, sure. I mean, Great. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know anybody else here either. This is so. typically how friends are actually made at college, in my experience, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Celeste, is this how you actually made friends? Sometimes, uh... Camille's meaner than I am. <laughs> it's many friendships of mine in college were made by, hey, we were two random people started talking to each other, but both of us don't know anyone. Well, I guess we know each other now. That's literally how many of my college friendships started. <laughs> Stormboard and Associates is a production of Nerd and Tie. You can find more information at nerdandtie.com slash stormwood. You can also find us on social media at Nerd and Tie on Twitter, nerdandtie.tumblr.com, and facebook.com slash nerd and tie. This podcast can be subscribed to on anywhere that major podcasts are found, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, and uh, quite a few other places, and anywhere that takes an RSS feed as well. Hey, while you're still here, let me tell you about another podcast on the Nerd and Tie Network, and that's Let's Be Legendary. Let's Be Legendary, the Fey Wild West, is a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons actual play game. So, an actual play game like this one, but like, you know, in a system people actually use in the real world. Set in a homebrew Wild West steampunk world. Uh, the Fey Wild West follows two people discovering what it means to be in a relationship, all the while seeking revenge and learning the truth of their pasts. Let's Be Legendary podcast is an LGBTQ plus podcast with both main and minor characters, as well as players falling under the queer blanket. A heavy RP game with a focus on story and characters. And you can hear it every week here on the Nerd and Tie Network. And you can find all of their subscription information and links at nerdandtie.com slash legendary.